few weeks I probably will not be out here in the shop yeah unfortunately this is my shop uh, working as usual I'm gonna have to move most of this stuff to the inside all the small stuff and move everything to the back of the yard as far back as possible put as many bikes as I can put in the house and uh, just a grand old mess anyway it's Tuesday uh, I think when I left you guys last time I was working on uh, my race bike and uh, that's where I left it right there uh, you know I go and go like a machine most of the time the best I can but every now and then uh, my body takes a break on its own and just shuts me down like hey you need some sleep so yesterday it rained down here I don't know if you can tell but it's still wet out here but uh yeah it rained most of the day so that helped me be you know lazy and uh sleep most of the day well at least i tried to rest most of the day and pretty much i did pretty much but anyway um it's back to work today and after getting that uh notice that i gotta move all this crap man that's kind of overwhelming so that's gonna put all of my building stuff on hold for the most part you know i done fixed up my man cave a little bit whereas though i can only do but so much in there i surely ain't gonna be cutting up and making a mess up in there I'm going to put some uh, some talk down, and I'm going to do the best I can to work with the situation. But unfortunately, that's where we're at. So that being said, uh, I'm going to have to renege on a few things. I know I said I was going to uh, show the Suron motor being open and clean and fixed. I'm not going to be able to do that, and just not for that reason as well. Uh, the owner needs his bike back ASAP because he's trying to go on a little trip. So uh, I'm going to try to make sure he's able to go on his trip. Uh, we did get the part in yesterday for the Ceron, the Hall Census. So uh, I'm not going to be taking that motor apart. Like I said, I'm just going to uh, throw the Hall Census on there, put it back together, and get them out of here. So I'm sorry. That's probably not going to be uh, aired. I may just film it. But I'm not going to be concerned about trying to get good views and all that. Man, I got to get that thing done and out of here. So sorry, guys. Y'all ain't going to see that. Y'all may see the a little clip of the bike when it's done and going out of here. But yeah, we got to get uh, we got to get this bike up out of here as soon as possible. Um. Where's those grips at? I think those grips are going to look really good on this bike. You know, with the color combination and everything. You see, got this little uh, piece on the seat that looks nice. So, once it's cleaned up, man, the bike going to look good. But anyway, that's where we are. Um, and I know some of you have seen the, possibly the picture of this and thinking, oh, no, you may have missed something. You didn't miss a damn thing. Because this picture is perpetrating a fraud. It's just uh, I was doing some fitment seeing where I could fit stuff and place stuff. So that stuff is basically just sitting in there. I don't even have my GLE kit. Uh, that should be arriving today or tomorrow. The uh, You know, to wire up to my back. That's going to give me my peripherals and my telemetry. I'm not using EMB. No, I'm not going with Emoto Bros. I'm going with GLE. And reason being because uh, I got to connect as far as tuning. And that's another thing. Got a, uh, a lot of the BAC haters couldn't wait to jump on the fact that, Oh, you're not going to be able to tune. You know, the ASI, they only allow distributors and such and such to tune. Yada, yada, yada. Well, check this out. You guys might not have access because of said drama or whatever. 
But uh, thanks to a good friend, I have access. I got a plug. I will be able to tune mine. And uh, hey, that's just what it is. So don't worry. I'll be able to get mine up and running. And not only that, just understand that this bike here, I'm on a mission with this bike. Nothing is going to stop this bike from being a fast-ass race bike. You know what I'm saying? The only reason I'm going with this BAC 8000 anyway is because I have it on hand. You know, my little saying that I made up, bird in hand, I ain't buying no damn bushes. So yeah, I reorganized that saying, but that's, that's the saying. Now, Cheap Charlie, I already got that. Why, you know... You guys know I wanted to go with Far Driver. And the only reason I was really going with Far Driver is because of the high voltage that you can use. And let me tell you this. I may still go with Far Driver down the road. Because, like I have always said, I'm going to be going back repeating uh, something that I've always said on this channel which is my belief and how I want to run, I'm going to always go with higher voltage over high current any day. Any day. So those of you that don't know Ohm's Law and the formula for power and all that, you know, go back and find that out. But you can reach the same power output level for getting power watts in the end of that equation, we all want watts. So amps times volts equals watts. You can increase either one of those variables and reach your goal. Now, most people go with amps by a big ass controller that can handle a lot of amps. Reason why I never really liked the amp thing, because drawing more amps creates a lot more heat. And heat is something I don't want. Not only that, that puts more stress on everything. You know, your motor, it, it produces heat everywhere. So that's why I normally don't like to go with amps. But again, because I have this, that is the quickest way to get me to my goal right now. Now, is that does that mean that's, you know, what this bike is going to be permanently... No, but for right now, we're going, we're going with that. Now, in the future, when I want to go back to my high voltage thing, that is because by that time, I will be able to build my own battery pack or configure a battery pack using all light poles. Haven't determined which way I'm going to go yet, but, uh, you know, however I got to get there, I'm going to get there. Now, uh, for the haters that don't want to see me get there, you can hate all you want and hope that I can't get that back working or the back is not going to work. Well, guess what? If it doesn't, uh, that's not going to stop this show. The show must go on. So, you know, if I, if I had to get a far driver, whatever, it is what it is. I mean, it should be evident by now that uh, what the game plan is and nothing is going to stop that. I, I have no obstacles. There are no obstacles in my path for me to reach my goal. That being said, that's it. So, unfortunately, I got to put that out there because uh, I guess you wouldn't believe some of the comments that I'm getting in other forums and other places where you know people don't want to see don't want to see me uh fly but guess what they not gonna be able to stop it so anyway that's it y'all just wanted to put y'all down with that i gotta get busy get to work so i will holler at y'all later <sighs> boy i had to come out here and start cleaning up there was leaves everywhere and not only that before before I can even get started on this bike, I gotta 
I got to clean up a little bit in here and get reorganized. So I will be working on this Ciron for the rest of the day. That is the goal for the day, to get that up and running. Uh, but that will not be filmed. I don't have time for the filming. So, anyway, that's where we at, guys. Uh, after I get the Ciron done, I got an idea for a really good video. And uh, we're going to go more in-depth on batteries. You know, uh, and building batteries. Now, be just because I haven't built any batteries does not mean that I don't know how to build batteries. I know what I need to know to get the job done. And, you know, it doesn't matter if I've never built one. I know I can build one. I know what it's going to take to build one. And, uh... We're going to make that happen. So I'm going to go in a little bit deeper on the battery thing and uh, give you my ideas and reasons for why I'm going to do what I'm going to do. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Take care. This is a Crooked Finger production. Peace. Holla at you guys later. We out.